my nose is running. This is how you blow your nose when you have makeup on. You just stick something up there. Alive, and today we're going to be doing this tutorial right here. So in 2018, I want to challenge myself and do looks that I have not done before. So starting out for my first tutorial of the year, I went for graphic liner, black lips, fox freckles, and neon, which are everything that I do not do and that I really struggle with. So I hope you really enjoy this video. Please leave some tutorial ideas down in the comments below or DM me on Instagram so I can get to your looks and challenge myself even more. So this is where this part is tricky. So to create this really big graphic liner, you're gonna start the liner above the crevice of your eye. So you're skipping over your crease and you're creating a new crease. So it looks really, really weird at first, but that is how you do it. So I'm gonna use my little Wet n Wild eyeliner brush right here with my NYX liquid liner. And I'm gonna dip my liquid liner in here and I'm gonna start to create the wing. I take a lot of time on this. It's a long process for me. I do it like one step at a time and that's how you're gonna achieve this look. Okay, so now that we have this wing right here, how it's just sitting over the top of my crease, it looks like I messed up basically. That's what you want. And then I'm gonna start the other part of the wing really low here, like right there and connect it. And that's what's gonna give it that really big graphic editorial liner. Okay, so you're gonna be left with this really big space, which is what you want. I know it looks super weird right now, but I want when we're done and we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. So with this look, I just pretend that these are sisters. They're not twins. Really, really try to remember that because once you have everything blended in, your liner on, your lashes, everything's gonna blend in. So this is just kind of a work in progress. So. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start filling this in with the liquid liner. So this little part here, what happened was part of the brush separated, which is really annoying and it added like an extra streak that I did not create. So we're gonna try to remove that later, but I'm just trying to ignore it for right now and kind of try to fill this in since this brush messed me up. Thanks, Wet n Wild. So I'm just taking that same Sedona Lace angled brush with that jet powder and we are just setting all of that gel liner to make sure everything is nice and seamless. I don't know if I mentioned, but I did take the Morphe G17 brush with the shade Fringe and we just blended it right here in the crease, but we stopped right here. so. You don't wanna go all the way into the wing, you just want that to be strictly black and very graphic. So we're gonna keep this really smoky. And we're gonna go ahead and go in with the color pop shadow and animal, and we're just gonna pop this <laughs> right in the inner portion of the eye. I am just doing this with my finger because I think that these shadows work best with your finger. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this shade right here from the Morphe 35B palette, and we're gonna place this all along right in this section. Go ahead 
Going in with the Morphe G13 brush with the shade Jet, we're just gonna start packing this on where we already have the black to just buff that out. Okay, so for this part right here, I'm gonna lift up my eyebrow. You can see the difference of that space. And I'm gonna take this tiny little brush and pack in the shadow to kind of finish off where the graphic liner probably should have been, but we just didn't pull it out quite far enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just make sure that's not too harsh. Okay, so I just realized that this animal shade with this eye candy glitter is basically the same exact thing, but one's glitter. So we're just gonna add glitter on top in the front of the animal shade. We're gonna go ahead and take that black heart brush with the glitter glue and just pack it on right here. Like, look at that glitter. It's literally the same exact thing. It even has the same reflex in it. It's just more intense. Oh, and if I didn't mention, we're using the NYX glitter glue. Yes, I'm living for this neon look. Oh, this uh, glitter is in Tangerine Twist Sugar. It's so good. So we're gonna go in with the Max Natural Radiance Base Lumiere, which is basically a bougie word for a radiance primer. Oh, and if you have not tried this primer and you're kind of wanting something that's very similar, the Kat Von D Hydrating Primer reminds me a lot of this primer. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation, and I actually really like this. I'm not into really full coverage moussey foundations, but there's something about this one that I actually really enjoy. Once our foundation is blended in, we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Concealer. I am in the shade Light Ivory. We're just gonna put this all over where we want to conceal and highlight the face. I wanted something just a tad bit lighter, so we're gonna go in with the Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade uh, Fair Neutral. We're just gonna apply just a couple little swipes. Whoa, that was a lot. <laughs> over the top. Excuse me, that was my husband. I lock him in a room while I'm filming and every once in a while you hear him. <laughs> I am just taking the RCMA powder, no color powder actually, and I am just packing this all over where we placed the concealer. Okay, so while that powder sits, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. powder brush and we're gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer and start contouring and bronzing our face. Okay, so I think these are really cute and these are black heart brushes and I really like this brush for blush and it doesn't tell me what it is because it came in a little unicorn set, but I am liking this. Okay, I've not dipped into this highlighting palette in a while. So this is the shade Starburst from the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette. And it has this really nice icy but peachy tone to it. And it's gonna go perfect with the eyes. Okay, so this glitter has like yellow flecks in it and I've not been able to go into the platinum palette yet. So I wanna go in with the shade Canary Bling, which has this really nice yellow gold tone. And we're just gonna pop that over the top just to tie in a little bit of that yellow glitter. We're just gonna go ahead and carve this out with the RCMA powder like we usually do. Um, let's move back into the eyes and I'm gonna start back in with this color pop shade. Just gonna place this like right here like a little bit lower than I normally would. I think the more you press it into the skin the cooler it starts to look. 
I'm liking that. We're gonna go in with that highlight shade that we used for the Anastasia palette and place that right there. Beautiful. With my MAC 217 and that shade from the 35B palette, we're gonna go ahead and start buffing this under the eye. Okay, so from there, we're gonna go ahead and buff the shade Jet under the eye. And we're not gonna bring it all the way in, we're gonna keep it on the outer corner. All right, we are gonna line our waterline halfway, not all the way in, with the Urban Decay liner. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove that powder. Okay, so now to make the black not look quite as out of place, we're gonna take that NYX liner. We're gonna go ahead and line the top of our eyelid. Okay, so this could be like the death of the look, but I wanted to try to do those fox freckles. So I'm gonna take the uh, dip down eyeliner from MAC and this little eyeliner brush from that Black Heart uh, Unicorn palette, not palette kit. And I'm just gonna place them in this area. So I'm just gonna start tapping them lightly. <gasps> So what I've seen the girls do is like in the videos is then just like tap it. Like you're not moving it, but I think you're just kind of pressing it into the skin to make it look. That's not doing anything. So I think I was supposed to do that while I did it. <laughs> yeah, so I just rewatched the tutorial and you were supposed to apply or tap the freckles in as you do it before it dries because it makes it look more real. But they said applying highlighter above it makes it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder in the areas over top of it to try to fix my mistake. Okay, so I talked about these lashes in my favorites and they literally changed my life. These are the Black Magic Electra lashes, which this just completes this entire, oh, I just dropped it. So this just completes this entire look. So we're gonna go ahead and apply those. Look at the difference. Holy cow. I literally look like a completely different person. These lashes changed my life. All right, we have two more steps and we are gonna line the waterline, the waterline, we're gonna line the I'm going to line my lips with the Tarde Liner by OC Cosmetics. Okay, so once you have aligned your lips, we're gonna go in with the Kat Von D Steady Kiss Lipstick in the shade Neon, Neon, Neon. It is a metallic silver black. I'm obsessed with this lip color. So the next step we're gonna do, or the last step we're gonna do is put on the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. <laughs> Turn this on, wet my hair, and spray. All right guys, this is a finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you recreate it, please tag me on Instagram. I want to see all of your looks. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, do it. Don't leave here, don't you just watch all my videos and not subscribe to me, cause that's just rude. I just have to say that I had to start my tutorial all the way over because of these. This, I love Melt Cosmetics, love them. Crazily pigment, some of my favorite shadows. But I got this on Black Friday, the radioactive neon one. What the heck? The formula is horrible. If I touch that, it just falls all the way off. When I put it on my eyes, there's zero pigment. 
it's super patchy and it literally just wipes off as soon as I try to blend it. I'm like, what? Why? Uh.